All right, guys. So if you've given, if you've been paying attention to my Instagram channel, there's one thing that you probably have noticed that I have been taking a very big liking to, and that is the Whip Machine and Tool SME, the SME Sound Mitigation Device, Sound Mitigation Equipment, whatever. These things are awesome. Um, the way that these work, I can show you real quick because this one comes right off. So you've got your muzzle device over the end and these things are gnarly when you take this off you got a really big awesome fireball by the way so that muzzle device gets capped off halfway in there so it's almost like a little mini tiny little baby suppressor right there but obviously it's not it's definitely not what it is it's not what it does either this just pushes your sound down now these can be picked up i believe the biggest one they have is right at around 200 dollars. you can pick these up for under 200 dollars and you, you're gonna get a lot for your money as far as being able to push that sound down away from the shooter's ear and from the people along the side of the shooter. If you were someone that goes to an indoor range and you don't wanna be an asshole, this is something that would definitely be right up your alley. If you're the type of person that goes to the range and you want to be an asshole, then something like this would be right up your alley. But you know, sometimes we all wanna be an asshole, so sometimes this is fun. But in the interest of not pissing off your neighbors, not pissing off someone in the lane next to you, this is definitely something that could be very useful and beneficial to any shooter as long as you can put it on your gun. Um, also from Whip Machine, you can pick up one of their suppressors. These are all full auto rated cans um, and they run a really good warranty and you can pick up all of their cans after tax stamp for right at $500. So that's a pretty good deal it's pretty hard to find really anywhere else that cheap in the industry um and if you guys want you can use our code f15s and nukes and you can go on over and you can get 17.76 percent off of your entire purchase so that's pretty cool you get 17 percent off get yourself an sme get yourself a can and then you can use your sme while you're sitting around waiting on your can to get out of jail so without me talking more and making the video any more boring let's get on to shooting these guys all right, so the first thing we're going to start out with today is the 9mm PSA AKV. This is definitely one of my favorite guns. It's just a blast to shoot. It's super, super, super fun. And at the sacrifice of my ears, I'm going to fire a couple kind of eh away from me to see how loud it is. Because I know that if you're, if you're in the proper position, prone position with this gun, you can shoot this without hearing protection and it doesn't crack your ears too much. So, but this thing was a little bit louder when we shot it earlier than I was expecting it to be right on the shooter's ear, but still not that bad. So we'll start with this one, see how it goes, and then we will work our way down the table. Okay, go for it. All right, so without further ado. Yeah, and this, I'm probably gonna end up putting my ears on just, you know, for safety purposes, but let's see here. Cause I, I do wanna know for myself, so. That's not that bad. No, it's not. That's almost like a, a crappy nine millimeter suppressor. Honestly, that's really not that bad. But to be able to two hundred dollars is not too bad at all. Let's see here. Let's get out some here. Oh wow! I'm hitting all over the place with this thing right now. There we go. There we go. So close. All right, I'm gonna stop right there. And did you did you want to get some with this? No, I'm good You're on good? it. You're good. Okay. Well, in that case, there we go. That's always fun. Moving on. All right. So for this one, definitely putting the ears on. I, you know, it's it's fun doing some non non ears on stuff but you know i want to have my hearing so i john now first i'm going to fire this with just the muzzle brake from the uh from the from the sme itself so to kind of just give a uh, a sound of what it is without so hopefully the camera will pick up on it loud okay let's go ahead and clear that bad boy all right we're good to go so then now we're gonna throw her on in 
to is this one, my ZPAP, my M70, which you guys have seen in other videos for sure. Absolutely love this gun. Hopefully y'all can tell a difference. I definitely, even with my ears on, can tell a difference. That thump going down range. That makes a, ooh, that was a nice crisp sound. I like that. Knocked another one down. All right, I know I've got to be close to being empty on that one. So. We will go ahead. Now this one, I know I can take my ears off for. I've done it in the past. Swipe off some of this ridiculous swamp face that we have here in Georgia. Y'all think this is bad. Y'all should see my ass. Gross. <laughs> All right, get that extended out far enough to where my ears are away from it. Now, I have not sighted in this scope at all yet. So this is again, just for sound test purposes. So let's see here. We're on fire, all right. And to be able to have a 5.56 five, this close to your face. <laughs> that was a hundred. It's still hitting pretty good right out of the box. That's pretty good for this scope, I will say. Nice. Yeah, I love that. That is That really makes a big difference. I think that probably the best use on these SMEs would probably be someone that is a uh, I would say hunting. Um after shooting them a little bit more, um, especially, you know, you're only gonna be getting one, two, three shots out unless you suck really bad um, and need more target practice for whatever you're shooting at. That makes a big difference. I don't have any ringing on my ears right now. I don't have any like loss of, of depth in my ears at all right now. I, I can't really notice a difference. Um, these things are pretty damn cool. I don't really know, They're, they do their job. They do their job without being anything fancy, without being like some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, come on, help me out here. Uh, when something's kind of like almost too good to be true when they add like too much frilly shit to it. What's the word I'm looking for? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, someone's going to put it in the comments and I'm going to be like, yes, that, that's the word, that's the word. So yeah, if you guys, like I said, 17.76% um, off using our code, F-15s and nukes. If this is something you guys could see being useful on your firearm, I highly recommend it. I mean, you're getting what you're paying for 100%. You're getting the sound pushed down range. When you're down range, it's loud as hell. Like it sounds, this sounds almost like a 308 further down there, but you get exactly what it's designed for. No frills, no extra bullshit. You get what you pay for. Whip machine and tool. SMEs. Go right. check them out. Trying to get them on board. Got to get like on this level. Down on this level. You gotta get. Just get up here. Get here. Yeah. Yeah. You're putting the you're putting the technology on a pedestal. <laughs> Fuck you. That's so fucking stupid.